Okay. Well, that was part two. And of course, it's playing all over again. So I'm looking at it in the background. Hey, everybody. Let's discuss part two. Heartbreaking. As you come in here, you see the title. We're discussing Wendy Williams part two. You've got questions. I think we are all very dumbfounded. This didn't need to happen. It. it I said this yesterday. Uh, you could go back and watch. Uh, it's also on YouTube. I know it's um. It's a better view from YouTube. Um, do you think they will discuss her entire journey? Well, this was it. It, it was a two-part documentary, if you can even call. You know, this wasn't even a documentary. I'll tell you that. If you're going to do a documentary on someone, I think this was, this, there's another word for this, but it wasn't a documentary. This was to make Wendy look like a clown, look like a, a crazy lunatic. Lifetime, you should be ashamed of yourself. This manager, you know, They put way too much out. Unfortunately, we will never forget this. We'll never forget the images that were put out of, you know, her feet, her her eyes completely bulging out of her face. Uh, the mess of her apartment, the way she was treating her staff, all of that. We're, we're not going to ever forget this. Um... I am I'm upset as someone who grew up watching and well first of all I didn't get to watch Wendy because they didn't have that she was on the radio and I was a little girl with my ears pierced to the radio along with all of the wonderful jocks that came out of New York City and I got to listen I every reason I wanted to do radio Wendy single-handedly changed the way all of these bloggers report entertainment. And as I said after part one yesterday, they would have never, they would have never done this to Barbara Walters. They would have never done this to any other anchor any other broadcaster, you think they would get away with doing this to uh, Robin Roberts or Kelly Ripa? Everyone who has either passed on or is still living. Oh, we have someone in the building uh, who produced her syndicated radio show from BLS. Oh, wow. That's so cool. I didn't know that about you. Every single person that has passed on or is still living that has had a special on them, they have never put them in this light, ever. And do you do you not think that everyone had their own issues? Be so for real. Be for real. Come on, I want be smart. This is a joke. This was a joke. And as much as I, you know, I saw some people saying that they didn't watch it. I feel like I'm torn. I feel like we needed to watch this because it, it's here. You know what I'm saying? It's here. And to watch it, we now get to see how they, who, whomever this they is, have completely disrespected this icon. Now, let's start from, from the top here. Actually, I'm going to start wherever I want to because I have my notes here. I'm just going to talk. 
This Will person, first of all, Will is a jeweler, okay? Will is a jeweler. He's not a manager. He is not someone who has experience in dealing with anyone with this kind of mental health imbalance. Will is a jeweler. And let me tell you something. The way he talked to her in this mess, what can we call this? In, in, in this two-part disaster, was so disrespectful and disgusting. And as I'm watching him talk to her, I'm like, something hit me right away. You so badly want to replace Kevin Hunter. Anybody else got that feeling? Well, I lost complete respect for you. Not that you give a goddamn, but I'm telling you straight up. That was, you don't talk, you know there's cameras in, in this woman's face. You are part of the puppeteering in having the cameras in, in this, in this, and you are part of the reason this whole foolishness is going on, first of all. Second of all, your performance was piss poor. Wendy Williams is an icon. She is a legend. She's the queen of all media. You talking to her the way you did for the world to consume. I don't know if it was some kind of power move on your end. I don't know if you were trying to prove to people that you are the only person that can talk to her like that. I don't know what exactly you were trying to prove, but what you did show was that you are an absolute clown. You don't care about Wendy because if you did, if you cared about Wendy, you would have never parted your lips to speak to her like that. Never. You would have never made, you, you would have never ever, you wouldn't even have, this production would not have even gone on. Now I'm going to read a live comment here and I'm going to tell you how I feel about this as well. I got the opposite. I thought he was concerned about her, but I don't know. I I dis I so dislike the show now. I feel like they, the producers, brought Wendy down and stress was big. Okay, let me let me break that down. This Will person definitely put on a song and dance to make it look like he was concerned. That's an act. That was an act. Let me get out the car. And go upstairs and see if there's liquor in the, in the hotel room. Oh, you know, she doesn't need to be... You know, there were certain things that he did. Now, I'm not going to say he doesn't completely care about Wendy. He, <laughs> he has to care about where his supply is coming from. Somebody's got to pay him. He cares a bit. If you fully cared for Wendy, this this whole thing. Now, the family. So this production happened a couple of years ago. OK, and I feel like when the family got on board, it was to bring awareness to the fact that they are being shut out. Now, if you see the pain in all of their faces between her son, her sister, her niece, the father, you know what I'm saying? Like you I can understand that part. Let's talk about this publicist who was clown number two. And I really, when I was watching the, the second, the, excuse me, the first part, I was trying to really understand the publicist side of things. Because she's, she's just a, she's a crisis person. She's a crisis publicist. Your world is, your world is in shambles. She jumps in and she tries to, you know, put the fires out. All right, whatever. If you if you remember in part one, or I'm sorry, in in the second part, uh, uh, Wendy's niece asked, "So who is she? You know what's what's the deal with her?" And Wendy was like, uh, "You know she she was PR, and then you know now she's more than that." And so Alex goes, Alex basically told her, "You're basically paying people to be your friend," and I don't even think Wendy was realizing it was like, "Oh, you know." With her state of mind, it's I'm going to come in and I'm going to do boom, 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 boom. 
you all pay me. You pay me. I pay you all to be here to do all of these things that you're promising. And that's it. Nobody is helping her disperse the money. Although, you know, like, I, I guess that's where this guardianship comes in. I'm going to get to that. But this PR lady. So Wendy basically bullies her into letting her go to L.A. So the PR lady is afraid of Wendy. She's setting up meetings at NBC. Did Wendy look like she could even have a meeting with 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 a goldfish? But yet your PR? I think the PR lady did more damage. And then when she's sitting in the restaurant, Wendy is sitting there drinking alcohol and you just see the PR lady just sitting there looking. And then Wendy was like, I'll have another one of those. And and the PR lady, like, like she, a lot of enabling going on. And I really think that this manager, Will, was performing for the cameras because like I said yesterday, somebody is bringing the stuff in. Somebody. Who is it? Because it, I, I don't, Wendy is not capable of going to the store and buying things on her own. She's not. That's first and foremost. Secondly, somebody has to sign off on it. You can't deliver alcohol and leave it at the door. Somebody has to sign off on it. And I believe, in my opinion, that these people will, and so on and so forth, who are in and out of her house are signing off on these things and performing for the camera because how is she getting all access to all this alcohol in her house? Okay. There was a part where she referenced her chair. Okay. She, there's a part where she referenced her chair and she called it the pink chair, the pink chair. We all know that that is her purple chair. That chair is not pink. That is her purple chair. The chair was a gift from Prince. Did you all know that? Even that. I don't know. There was a sweet moment with her and Black China. I thought that that was sweet. I wish there was more. I wish I, you know, I honestly wish that there was more Black China interaction. But Black China was on her own mission, on her own healing mission, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and because this this stopped filming a little while ago. Who who knows where Black China was, but I would have loved to see more of that. I think that that would have helped Wendy a lot. Who knows? Maybe there is, and 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 they just didn't film it. I'm sure there was a lot that was cut out and and puppeteered by this manager. Another thing that bothered me was the yup when she would say yup. I don't know too much about dementia. Um, my grandmother had dementia and that's all that's all I know about it you know what I'm saying so I don't know these different onsets I for, according to her son this is brought on from alcohol so who knows if she stops drinking and she completely cleans her body is it going to heal her brain and she could come back to maybe 75 percent 80 percent I don't know but you can hear when she's talking and she's saying yup and then she's like looking off and she's always in this confused state of mind. What was really sad is seeing her interact with her father because I believe and somebody correct me if, if you if you know, didn't her mother have dementia as well? Did her mother battle a bit with dementia in her 
later part. I, I feel like Wendy did mention that. Or I don't know if I read it somewhere something. I don't know. And so, okay, so I'm right. Her, <clears throat> Wendy interacting with her father, and her father is 93. He's very sharp. He is a sharp 93. He is very aware. It was really sad to see Wendy just kind of babbling on about something. She'll she'll just start talking about random stuff out of nowhere. Like, you know, the sentences weren't connecting. The topics weren't connecting. And it was hard to see the father just sitting there, you know, just okay. You know what I'm saying? It's it's almost like he can see he's he's seeing the deterioration of her of his daughter. And I'm wondering if for him to see the state of mind that his daughter is in is bringing back flashbacks to his wife. Do you understand? And even within him, so sharp. You know what I'm saying? He is very, he is all here today. I wonder if for him, just like everybody else and just like us, is he also on edge, prayerfully hoping that the phone doesn't ring to say, you know what I'm saying? The family wasn't being honest with her either. Why not have a doctor come speak to Wendy uh, frankly, about what is happening to her. From what I under, from from what I understand with this kind of illness, with uh, dementia and all that, I don't think that they advise the doctors to be upfront. From what I understand, now I have very little, uh, I, I have very little understanding on how how that all works. But I, I, you can't tell someone who is not in their right mind, hey, you're not in your right mind. Do you know what I'm saying? It's it's that's kind. I I think that's kind of dangerous. Um. I also don't know anything about lymphedema, so I don't know if there's some kind of surgery that can repair her feet. Um. I don't know. I, I, you know, that's, I, I, I don't think it's quite normal. You know, she's, she's showing her feet and she's, you know, one thing that really, really pissed me off to high levels of pissivity was when this PR lady got her out to, to, to New York, uh, excuse me, to, um, here, California and, is talking to her, talking to Wendy about this NBC meeting. And Wendy, you can see the excitement. You can see the excitement in, in her face, almost like she was like 10 years old again. You know what I'm saying? And, and it hurt me so bad because you can see that hope in her. We're going to go to NBC and they are going to say, yep. And they're going to give me my show. And then remember when she went to her dad and <clears throat> she's like, daddy, I start my show on Wednesday. And her dad goes, well, today is Wednesday. And she goes, no, 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 dad. No, you, do you guys remember? That was like, why would they, <sighs> this PR lady, she, she, she is so, I really, I really hope I never run into her. I really, I really hope not. Not like I would do, I, nothing I can do to her. But I just don't want to even be in the same room as her. Because what kind of PR person are you that you would even sign off to do this show? What kind of PR person are you that you would even get on camera? You look like a fool. She looked like a fool getting on camera to do this. It's it's like you look like a fool 
parading Wendy into NBC. You're supposed to be a crisis strategist. And you led the crisis. You led this disaster. Am I am I wrong for feeling this way? Am I wrong? Because you you're supposed to go in there and 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 you're part, you're part of crisis management. Yeah, I'm watching it again. It's 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 on here too on on the TV. I'm sitting here screaming at the TV the whole time because I'm like, what? What did she just start PR two two days before the taping of this? Because I don't understand what kind of crisis management she's crisising. She's creating the damn crisis. Towards the end, Will goes this 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 manager guy. She sells off, you know, or they they empty out her apartment. Will walks into the apartment and he goes, you know, oh, this place was so full of life and, you know, so much personality was in here. Then he says something. He goes, years and years, years and years of what? She was only there for a couple of years, years and years of life. What he acts like he's been there for for the decades. You, do you know what? Like that pissed me off too. You, he's so bad. I I promise you. I was sitting here. I said he so badly wants to be Kevin Hunter. You can tell. You can tell. He, yeah. Okay. So some the restaurant scene when Kevin Junior and Travis showed up late. Will threw them under the bus. So even that pissed me off. He's sitting there talking to Wendy about, oh, kids and responsibility. Shut up. Say nothing. Talk to one. Because I feel like the state of mind, the state of mind that Wendy was in needs no negativity. Do you know what I'm saying? Because then she started crying. It looked like she was about to cry. And he, he, he then says to her, do you think they're going to show up? Shut up. Why would you ask her that? Do you think they're going to show up? How about you get on the phone and call her son and or, or text her son? It's like he's sitting there adding more fuel to her. She's a ticking. She's a she's a she's a she's a ticking irrational disaster right now. And you're asking her emotional questions to throw her off. And talking to her like she is a, a, a just he talks to her so disrespectfully that that's I will never forget that I'll never, uh, or, or 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 the or, or or the PR girl huh I don't know about Keisha. Uh, somebody said Will, Keisha, and and this Sean lady are leeches. I didn't, you know, we saw Keisha, what, a, a handful of times, three, four times. So I can't really say that Keisha, who, I, don't, I don't even know what her role or purpose was. But this PR girl, you, she, I, in my eyes, she lost credibility. I don't know who would hire her. Who would? Will is a jeweler. That is his trade or, or, or whatever you want to call it. Will is a jeweler. And let me tell you something. Will came on the scene. I remember when Will came on the scene. Will, you know uh, the W that Wendy has? The necklace, the W? Will made that. Will made some of Wendy's jewelry. So he was around back when her and, and Big Kev were married and stuff like that. So when all of all of the destruction is going on, Wendy is pretty much clinging to whomever she thinks she can trust. That's what that is. That's that's really what happened.
And I'm going to be honest with you. I think because the the image and similarity in how Will looks, it probably brought even more comfort to Wendy because why? Why do you think? There's a resemblance to her ex-husband. Right? Hello? There's the comfort there. So Wendy leaning on Will is bringing comfort, but Will does not have Big Kev uh, brain, okay? Will does not know how to manage this powerhouse. So what you assume of Big Kev, knowing that Big Kev is aggressive and, you know, possibly Will was around when, you know, he definitely was around when Wendy and Kev were married, but I don't know to what extent he, he saw. So maybe talking to Wendy possibly in a way in which he saw behind the scenes. Hello? Do you understand what I'm saying? But let me explain something to you, and I said this yesterday. You all are absolutely entitled to be old with the with the cheating scandal and the divorce and all those things. I'm not I don't care to talk about it because that's just I, I, I don't it's I, I don't care to talk about that. When uh Kevin was Wendy's protector, okay? Will Kevin would have never Kevin would have never greenlit this foolishness. Never. Never. You have never seen Big Kev. Is the live, is this, is this breaking up or something? Instagram seems to be, uh, I, I don't know. You never saw Big Kev disrespect Wendy at all. You never, and when I say saw, you never saw him talking to her the way we witnessed Will talking to her. Never. It's freezing. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening. We never witnessed Big Kev do this in public. And again, you're all entitled to how you feel with the, with the cheating and everything like that. But let's allow your brain to think on a business and what we know of Wendy in the decades of us knowing Wendy Williams. He never talked to her like that. I think Will was trying to overcompensate Now, let me let me sidebar here. When Black China went to visit her, you remember when Wendy said she's coming back as Wendy Hunter. Hunter is her married last name. So even that, and I said this yesterday, there was a lot of puppeteering going on. Now, yes, the cheating became public and became a public embarrassment. Yes, there was a baby. Yes, she was hurt. We, we all know all of that, okay? Wendy never wanted Big Kev to not be part of the team. It was the management that was over all of that. That locked and shut Kevin out. You can believe me if you, you, you don't have to believe me. I'm telling you facts. Wendy never, she didn't trust anyone else to handle the business. She trusted no one else. She used to call for Big Kev to come to New York even after her health departure from the show, and they would not.
there was a lot of of puppeteering happening. You don't have to believe me. I'm telling you the truth. No one knows what Big Kev did to Wendy personally unless you were actually there. Okay, I mean, th- there's no, there's no untruth to that. But I also know the conversations that I've had with Big Kev personally. So, if you're smart and you read between the lines, and even listening to what her what what Little Kev was saying. Every time she went to New York, her health would decline even more, continually. And all all this Will guy, this this guy, all he wanted to do was keep her, you keep her in New York and then what? Continuing to drink, continuing to spiral. This was a mess. Like, I'm looking at it now. I I don't know. I mean, I don't know if we'll ever see her. Well, we, we damn sure know she's never coming back to the Wendy we once knew. We know that. That's a fact. I don't know what kind of Wendy we're going to get when she does resurface. It would have been nice. I I mean, what was the purpose in this lifetime? What was the purpose in this? By now, the, the the series is done. People have saved and recorded... We just want you to be smart, Tosh. We saw how you met him on on this platform, so be careful. I appreciate you. By the time Kevin came on my show, I'd already known him a year already. But I definitely appreciate you. She relied on Kevin because she didn't have anyone else in her life. She was never surrounded by any close friends or close associates. Why is that? That's not true. Um... She did have a, she has a very, very good friend. <clears throat> Wendy was never really one to have, a, a, even back in her radio days, Wendy was never one to have a, a whole bunch of friends. You, you never saw her out with, you know, a bunch of people. The, the weird part was after the divorce, she started having all these friends around. That is what was different. She was never one to have a bunch of friends at all she was never one to have all these people and stuff wendy was not a a person to have people like this in her house at all like put a one in the chat if you like if you remember wendy from the 90s like new york radio only wendy i'm just saying wendy was not a roll with the crew type of at all that was the alarming part who who are all these people when you don't roll with people when you don't roll with you know what i'm saying when she goes shopping and stuff you're seeing her you're seeing her in in these paparazzi photos with all these people that was not that is that is that's what is different that's not the real wendy williams She always knew who was in and out of her house. She had all these people in her house and stuff like that. I think, yeah, definitely the divorce. She's lonely. She talks about that. She talks about how lonely she is. And we can say that the divorce played in. She was a wife for, for all this time. She was a wife. She loved being a wife. She loved being Mrs. Hunter. She, that is what she told us. So when so when you're no longer this wife and your son is grown up and he's off to college, what do you have left? Your cats. 
Why didn't Keisha call an ambulance when Wendy was passed out and the people said her eyes were rolling in the back of her head? A lot of questions there. There was a time where Wendy... There was a time where Wendy wasn't doing too well and her son was downstairs and they would not let him upstairs to go. They had to sneak in the building. They had to find ways to talk to Wendy. Who, who are the people who are keeping the family away that want to take care of her? Whenever Wendy would go down to Florida, she would come back better and healed or not fully healed, but she would be on the right track. She goes back to New York and there's destruction. So now the bigger question is, if Will, Will and this guardian have, have close ties with each other? Because when Wendy went to California, Will was like, I know she's drinking. I have to call the guardian. So he, he's the only one that has communication with this guardian. But every single time Wendy is in his possession, she's declining. So who is this guardian? That's the, that's the real question. Who is this guardian? Because I feel like between Will and the guardian, it's almost like they're, they, they are the ones wanting this full, and, and the PR lady, but we eventually saw the PR lady. She disappeared. She disappeared. So she, they must have fired her. Good. Did you peep when she called her brother Kevin at dinner? Yes. And that was sad. That was sad. And and you know what? <laughs> In all fairness, I've called, I've I've mixed my kids and my brothers and mixed the kids' names. I've done that. But because we know her mental state, that's what makes it sad. Do you know what I'm saying? And then you just saw Tommy sitting there. The Guardian d d doesn't see a red flag that Wendy declined with him. You have to question who the guardian is. No one knows who this guardian is. The guardian is someone that the court appointed. That's who the guardian is. So who 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 is this guardian? Just because the court appointed a guardian does not mean that this person has Wendy's best interest at heart. This is a disaster. We witnessed a disaster. And like I said, after, uh, like I said yesterday, and I'm going to say it again today, this should have never hit television. This entire thing should have been scrapped. I don't care what kind of agreements are made to be broken. Okay? There's a clause in there for her health. Send, send her the bill for breaking the contract, period. You don't treat our icons and our legends like this because we've never seen it. They didn't do this for many other iconic people who have come and gone and are still here. They didn't do it to them, and I don't understand why they did it to Wendy Williams. Because you damn sure know that they would never do this to Robin Roberts. They would never do this to Oprah. They would never do this to Gail. They would never do this to Kelly Ripa. When Regis Philbin, when, when Regis was declining, when Bob Barker was declining, when Barbara Walters was declining, I don't know if I said her name, they were able to be in peace, okay? 
they were able to ride off into the sunset peacefully. They got, they all got amazing specials on them. They all, you know, were uh, wonderful. Everyone talked about them. You, you didn't, you, you, you don't think those people had histories and past? Come on. Yes, they had people that protected them. Absolutely. Wasn't Barbara Walter sleeping with married men? Hey, if she was, I don't know. It, it, it wasn't broadcasted on TV. She still kept her show. The way they did Wendy on her show also was was extremely destructive. Who else do you know they did that to like that? Who else? Name me. They could have still kept... I mean, there's so much that they could have done. Now, the Wendy Williams show is the Wendy Williams show. You can't have a Wendy Williams show and Jane Doe is hosting. And how long are you going to have guests come on? But I'm, I'm telling you right now, there's ways in which they could have kept the legacy of the Wendy Williams show and Wendy Williams intact for her to feel like she was still part of what she built. Wendy Williams single-handedly built that show. Her and her husband, they built everything on their backs. So when you see her sitting there, when you see her sitting there dazing off out of the window, she's drinking. How many times did you hear her say, She was bored. And I said this yesterday, you can't find her show on YouTube right now. Unless it's something that someone DVR'd or they tape with their phone. You can't find all of, you, you can't. You don't think when Wendy was in her right mind before this decline really started getting aggressive you don't think she was pissed don't you think stress is going to accelerate the decline like i said i keep telling you i don't really know much of of how d dementia and aphasia works but i can only assume that if, if i can lay in a hospital with tubes up and down my body dying from stress i can only assume that stress can also decline with dementia and aphasia and and the, the things that's wrong with her That's why little Kev said they kept her busy in Miami. Exactly. Wendy wants to, like the guy Will, when they when he said to tell her that it's it's apple juice infused rum or something like that. When you drink, you know you know the taste of alcohol, and you know when it's a flavored alcohol, or and you know when it's not alcohol at all. Boredom. It's under Wendy Archives. The Sherry Shepherd Show. Sherry Shepherd's social media page was legitimately overnight changed from Wendy Williams to Sherry Shepherd, and the entire page was wiped. Wendy built it on her back and Sherry came and Wendy Williams shows are on YouTube since when yesterday because the last time Wendy Williams stuff was on YouTube I'm talking about the re from production do you know what I'm saying this was horrible we're never going to forget this and I don't know how she's going to come back from it. Graves disease attacks the liver and, and so does alcohol. So I guess when you 
have the two. Okay, I was part of a study for dementia. A frame of thinking is that a frame of thinking is that inflammation in the body over time can lead to dementia. The alcohol and bad eating habits would cause that inflammation. Sherry had nothing to do with the social media switchover. Okay, so let me say this. Let's 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 play out a scenario here. Because people keep saying that Sherry Shepard had nothing to do with anything. She was just the appointed person to sit in the chair. Can I can we let's let's break down something here. Sherry Shepard is a full grown woman with a brain. She's seeing what is going on. When the show was given to Sherry, I feel like Sherry could have done a lot more to pay her respects to Wendy and also talk to production and let them know she does not want to take anything from Wendy's legacy social media and and everything above sherry could have sat in that room and said i want a whole new set when sherry got the show they changed absolutely nothing of the set nothing do you think would you do that I would never. I would never. Or you turn it down. See that see now that's something that's a hard pill for somebody, right? Say, so you know what? Out of respect for Wendy, I, I can't I can't do this to her. Somebody said Sherry Shepard wanted the show so bad. The lady I knew was acting just like Wendy right before she passed away. She had given up and soon passed. Wendy doesn't look well at all. Okay, you're talking about somebody you knew who had similar functions like what we're seeing with Wendy. Wendy doesn't look well at all. I've seen that look before. I like Sherry doing the step in, but now it it's too much connecting to the Wendy show. They did not. And this is Deb Mar, that company. I'm telling you, they did nothing to protect Wendy Williams legacy. They treated her like some regular W-2 employee. That's how they treated Wendy. Like she was some regular W-2 employee. Okay, well, she's not doing well. Okay, next, let's let's get her replaced. And that was it. Took an eraser, erased Wendy Williams and put Sherry Shepard. That's what they did. And I'm disappointed, and, and I wasn't there, but I feel like if, if Sherry Shepard had more of a backbone, she would not have allowed that to happen. She would not, I would, I would have demanded a, a, a complete set makeover. I'm talking the colors and everything was so similar to Wendy. Do you all remember the last episode of the Wendy Williams show? They didn't even have Wendy Williams there for the last episode. They didn't even invite her back to her own show. They did some little montage at the end of the show. Do you all remember? I wanted to kick the TV in. 
I couldn't believe that after 14 years, that is how they ended the Wendy Williams show. What do you think that's going to do to Wendy? Yeah, they wished her well. I'm telling you, they treated her like she was some... Hell, they treat some regular W-2 employees who've been at the company much longer better than what they did to Wendy. Someone said that was terrible, but I think Wendy was in rehab at the time. I don't care. Like She could have been on Mars. They could have waited. They could have kept having... Guess host. They could have created something like The View. They could have done so many different things. I think the disregard is what is bothering me. Was she healthy enough to do the last show? I don't know. I don't remember. I, I, I really, I, I don't remember. I, maybe she wasn't. Maybe not, but they could have either postponed it or just there's so there's so many things they could have done to to pay better respects to her. Not this well wishes foolishness. Wendy's health was at risk and by law they couldn't say much. Those producers might have been the most honest about her condition. They knew something wasn't right and didn't want to risk putting her on TV. I get it. I understand all of that. But my point is, is that even, even, even with the, with the little, little scrap they put together for her at the end of the show, Exactly. How do you do a last show without the host? You, you you don't. But even if you had to, they could have done a better job. They really could have. And look, I'm I'm watching this thing all over again. Look at this will uh, in 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 Wendy's apartment with none, you know, all the stuff is gone and and they have the camera panning around him and he's just standing there looking around. Wow. Let me let me see something. It feels like they just ripped Disney World apart. Shut up. He said, he's, uh, I kind of feel like this space put her in a triggering department. Who, who are you? Why? I'm so disgusted with him. It, you would you would have think you would have thought that he was the husband. Do you know what I'm saying? Like he's standing there like I'm done. I hope a network Let me see something. Regis got to be on his last. Yeah, Regis was there. Everyone y- y- listen, I understand if if her health Okay, but Tosh, I need to give you a side note, if you don't mind. Yeah, it's an open discussion. Go ahead, for sure. Hi there. Yeah, I heard them talking about, the you know, how the, the courts appoint the guardianship and all those things. I don't think it's right at all. I don't think it's right at all. I, I, I think there's there definitely is a flaw in the system, for sure. The dude with the beard was fine. Who, who will? I I can't look at him as fine because I just wanted to kick his face in on the TV. He pissed me off the whole time. Almost broke my TV. I 
I think there's so much more that they could have done with Wendy Williams' entire legacy, and they didn't. And they made a sideshow of this queen. Oh, the bodyguard? Um, oh, is that the bo- uh, James? Her bodyguard, James? <laughs> uh, Will is a snake. I have to remember to unfollow him. Remind me. I'm I'm pissed. I don't want to talk to him at all, ever. There's nothing he can tell. I don't I don't want to know his side of anything. He showed his side. He showed his side by allowing this production to happen. The PR lady, I don't ever I don't ever want to see these people in in real life ever. I don't I, there's nothing I don't ever want to interview. I don't want I don't want anything from them. I don't I don't want to hear them talking. I don't I don't want to hear anything from them. They did a complete injustice by allowing this production to go on. Will as her manager and and him in cahoots with whomever this this guardian is. I don't ever want to talk to him. Ever. This was painful and I feel like the only the only good thing that can come out of this is the awareness of what the guardianship is doing and the family uh, wanting access to their daughter, sister, mother. Do you understand? That's the only good thing that I can see coming out of this. Auntie. What do you think Wendy and her sister were talking on the phone about? Wanda said she didn't want to tell the people filming what the conversation was about. That's a really, really good question. I don't know. And I I really was trying to figure, like, you know, put my own pieces together, but I don't know. I couldn't even imagine. Um, according to Wanda, Wanda said that, you know, Wendy was sounding like the Wendy from years ago. So if that's the case, then maybe they were talking about you know what? Wendy's an actress, okay? <laughs> Wendy knows how to put on. So the curiosity, the curious side of me is wondering, you know, not to say that any of this was staged at all. Now that Wendy is coming around, I wonder if, her, she in her right mind looked back and said let it happen you know what i'm saying and knowing how to puppeteer this whole thing and probably telling wanda okay keep talking keep talking about this garden because she's probably still under this conservatorship do you know what i'm saying um i don't think anything of what we saw with wendy was a play. I think that that was real, but I think uh, as she has gone through her going through her healing and that phone call to Wanda, I think there might be a play happening because of the conservatorship. That part I think is going on, but um, I'm glad it's over. I'm disappointed, And uh, I'm definitely going to talk a little bit more about this tomorrow because, look, I have my notes here. I've got my I've got my notes here. You all know I don't play around. Um, Remind me to unfollow Will. I'm done. I'm done. Like he is a disaster.